team with two of our really high quality competitors stepping up right now, that being Scott and MPG. Now, of course, Scott, we all know him. The, uh, the Mega Man player who's been around the scene for quite a while. Really cool to see him here. And uh, his opponent, MPG, the Luigi. Now, this matchup is... What are your thoughts on what we should be expecting to see here? Because I have certain thoughts, and I'm wondering if uh, we are aligned there. Well, absolutely. Well, so when it comes to this matchup, we're definitely going to see a little bit of a harder time on Luigi's end. We know that it's definitely really hard for Luigi to get in in a lot of cases. Even if it's just zoners, people outrange him very easily. So we can see a little bit of that being an issue in this match right here, especially you see we have Mega Man with, you know, Leaf Blade, we have Back Air, we have Forward Air, and sometimes that just makes it a little bit harder for Luigi to actually compete against. Yeah, and those pellets are shutting down so efficiently. We've yet to see the only percent that has been dealt, I don't even know, is that by Blast Zone damage. It feels like Scott has been untouched, but if there's one thing we know about Luigi, a single touch is all that it takes. The, look at this, though. He's trying to find these... Uh, using the Zare to maybe get an opening, but he's being shut down every time. Finally finding a forward air. The thing is that right now, Scott has to find a way to actually close out the stock, and that's when things can maybe be a little bit scary, might overextend, and instead it is the forward air. Mega Man is a character. He has so many ways of killing reliably between forward air, between back air, so in the end, I don't know if we're going to be seeing him struggle to actually take out MPG's life in this uh, set. Absolutely, but there's also the thing too that I feel like if, as we've seen from previous games with Scott, Scott is a little bit of a methodical player. He has to learn a little bit of the matchup before we actually get to see him do a little bit of work. We have to see him kind of take his time in neutral, trying to find a little bit of his way to consistently get it on a character. That's exactly what we've seen, especially when we see him play Jen, and that's exactly what I'm hoping for here. But we're definitely not really looking like too much because, you know, Scott is still on their second stock and is still trying to take this first stock out and it's not looking too great for him right here. Uh, it's, on the one hand, think about the trajectory where it felt like the beginning of this game, uh, it was, to call it one-sided would be an understatement, honestly. But now, 142%, only 62 has been dealt onto MPG. He finally takes that stock and... All of a sudden, this is not looking like an unwinnable game. Not in the least, especially because, once again, this is Luigi. He missed an upbeat confirm earlier on, but if he gets another one of those, if Scott is just not careful with his combos, gets neutral aired, he might just die even right now. Absolutely, and I really love the way that, you know, MPG is definitely trying to take this game. He's been definitely taking this game as, you know, spacious as possible, not allowing there to be any, you know, points where we can actually see a lot of those, you know, conversions on the end of Scott, and I really love that on MPG. Okay, look at all this. I like this. We're just trying to be very patient, find that opening, but MPG gets stuffed out constantly, and I... It's so strange, because we had... It felt like MPG had maybe figured something out, and then as soon as Scott respawns, it's back to how this game started. Just whatever is being uh, sort of learned from MPG, just... Scott's adapting right back, and there has been no shortage of uh, dominance that he's been displaying for everybody here. Oh, but then again, right, that can happen. Absolutely, and that's one of the things about this matchup. You can just have one of those very slightly unfortunate events happen where you don't really, you know, get the chance to actually get out of that. So we have that FB taking that stock, and I definitely would really love to see how MVG continues to take this with stride because, you know, again, like we were saying, this can be the one thing that actually takes out the stock, but that back air is absolutely going to take out that last stock, sealing this first game. And I'm honestly really loving the way that MPG is going about this, making sure that MPG is still just taking his time, making sure, you know, that was the one time, I think one or two times that we've actually seen, you know, MPG go for, MPG? MPG, MPG going for offstage shenanigans. And it's like, you need to be really, you know, wary about how you actually go off stage, making sure that you take your time and not really doing too much off stage so that you don't actually lose your stock. Mm -hmm. But we are going to small battlefield, and I definitely already love this choice from Scott because this is actually one of my favorite, I like to say, neutral stages. It has two platforms on the side, and that just allows it for so much easier to be able to control space have a little bit of fun time making sure that you're controlling neutral, but speaking of controlling neutral, controlling so much damage and making sure not taking anything for granted, MPG is starting off with 81%, and I already love the way that this game is starting off. 
All right, okay, finally Scott finding that single opening. Let's see what he can do with it. All right, that's pressure in the corner. Are you kidding me? And he actually pushed him. The fact that he pushed him meant that he does... Normally, Luigi would be... Maybe he could kill there, but it would definitely be a toss-up. But when you are stuck in that shield animation, the tumble from it, you can do nothing. That was just an instant drop of a stock right there. That is one of the worst ways to lose your first stock, but still trying to fight back. I definitely love this on MPG. Nice weight, getting that throw back off stage and trying to go for the edge art. Not getting anything, but That's actually it was. Even though the mm. back air missed, the fact that he connected on him stopped the momentum from that Luigi missile short, and that led to a, uh, a death regardless. So great option coverage there. Like you take the hit, but it's absolutely worth it. Absolutely not going to too much, and especially since that wasn't you know um, misfire. So Ooh, okay, there's very nice pressure. Trying to put on still a lot as much damage as possible. Still making it still very even. And I definitely really want to see all the ways that we're just looking at all this really nice pressure on the end from MPG. Really nice platform pressure. Not even just platform pressure, but shield pressure. Edged guard pressure. It's a lot of it's doing oh. a lot of work. And that's going to take off that second stock on the end of MPG. Really nice. Yeah, and that's another stock taken off stage. And um, oh, combo's um, going. Um, Big damage. He's trapped at the corner. Well, can this actually seal the deal, though? Oh, no, my God. Luigi. Okay, this is the thing. If you're beating up a Luigi, it can feel great. But at any instant, if the if he turns on the gas, if you just step on a landmine wrong, you can explode. So you want to finish him off because, look, that can happen at any moment. All of a sudden, this is still an even game. I would honestly say this is less than even. Scott has now shown he has the potential to kill. These guys are both at death were set for all intents and purposes. Honestly, and this has to be a little bit still of a scary thing on the end of MPG because this is still scary and we are seeing that combo going on, still controlling oh. neutral in this combo. This is really scary right now. And I love that because MPG had been jumping in the air, didn't want to get grabbed, and so what did Scott do? I've got Luigi Ariel, still got all this damage, and it ends up converting into the up tilt to up B. Fantastic stuff. What a turnaround. That was not what I was expecting of that Honestly, uh, based on game one, absolutely not. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm I was not expecting that either. That was so good on Scott's end, just being able to entirely take that game back from the jaws of defeat because it was still looking like MPG had that game. MPG was playing so well in neutral, and it only took so many confirms just to get that kill. So he was, but the thing is, at the end there, he started playing scared. You saw he was jumping on the platforms, going for downers, trying to be really aerial based, and it felt like in game one he was putting out pellets, really shutting down Scott. But this time around, he's maybe you know the adrenaline is starting to get to him because he's just not playing that same wall out game and look at that that's what got him hit right there okay moving into game three though we're actually gonna have the same stage once more uh granted like scott needs to be taking the stocks that he was in that game too and if mpg is not falling for it then he can just live for ever possibly luigi sometimes especially oh my god what are you doing there <laughs> all right this is un this is looking like game one. Completely untouched, uncontested MPG right now. Will he actually get the edge guard? He does, and that's just a clean zero to death. A nice stock taken. You're basically gonna need to respond in kind, Scott, if you want to stay alive in this tournament here, because oh he's he's only hit him once! And the combos, though they continue to go, they continue to rack up. Yeah, this is what we were seeing before. Using those pellets, shutting down movement, and going in, weaving out. So many ways of opening up Luigi. It's not just a one-trick pony. We're seeing Scott really struggling here. Oh, and the fact he grabbed the, the bell, Metal Blade actually screwed up his combo there. Absolutely, and here's the thing too. I definitely love a little bit of the confidence that we're seeing from MPG. And I feel like this is kind of the thing that you need to be careful about because we don't want to see another situation where MPG loses his stock and then gets scared because that's the one thing that's going to keep him from making sure that he plays extremely well. But we're seeing a little bit of a combo Ooh! from Luigi. And is that going to take it? That is actually oh. going to take it 113% with only 80% on the board. And again, this is my where we need to see you know, MPG really be wary about how he's actually choosing his options 
being a little less scared because we're, now we're seeing a little bit of it. You saw that. Ooh. The fear, the fear of air dodging into the ground, and now Scott is hyper aware of it. These platforms have been working out so well for him, extending combos, just making it even trickier for MBG to get away once that single hit comes in. Oh, that was maybe some questionable DI. He's really low here, but does not get double tapped. He is alive, but it's only for so long. Metal Blade reverses, sends him the other way. That actually helped him out with recovering. No invincibility. He's alive? Oh, MBG, that should have been the death of him, but somehow at 150%, continuing to live. That was so good. Ooh. Wow. Oh my god, I just love the edge guarding and the ledge trapping coming in from MPG. Such good use of Metal Blade to stop that roll in and just controlling the entirety of this ledge. How is how is Scott able to get back onto stage if he can't even he can't even get back onto stage and play the game? You know, this is really good, just making it so hard for Scott to even play the game at this point, not even get a chance to play neutral. And this is so scary. Very nice read on that roll again. That's the second time that we've seen Scott roll in the last two seconds, and this is still getting really scary on the end of Scott. Oh, uh, so uh -oh. high up there. And that's going to do it. Absolutely. I love that. Confirm. Oh, oh my God. I feel like there were a lot of different... One of the reasons why that game came together at the end so conclusively for MPG was just keeping Scott in disadvantage. He would go for these edge guards, and even if the edge guard didn't get the kill, he would still be putting himself in a position where he's racking up percent, puts him off stage immediately again. He's above him, up air, up air into chain, finishing off stocks that way. It feels like as soon as Scott loses stage positioning in any sense, in any form, he's just really, really struggling to get any footing once more. Absolutely, and again with these edge guards, these edge guards have been so good on the end of MPG. Every single time has not been missing these edge guards, and it leads for so much damage. And it's also option coverage on the edge guards. The way he drops Metal Blade to clank with the side B in order to stop him in place and keep him farther off stage. Absolutely brilliant stuff, and as we move into this next game, I like the idea of going for a longer stage here, because it means that if he gets hit, he might not be put off stage instantly. That's really, I think, one of the big advantages here. Absolutely, oh. and the thing is, too, we're definitely seeing this combo, and that combo was definitely looking a little bit scary, but getting out of it with no issue whatsoever. And again, when it comes to a lot of these ledge trapping situations, it's just making it so hard for Scott to do anything. And we're seeing that right now. And the thing is, too, you wouldn't want to go off stage as, you know, any edge guarding situation should, but MPG is just making such good use of it, knowing exactly when to go off stage and exactly when to time the right moves to get to stop, like we're seeing it right here, only at 66%. And again, we do know how Luigi works, but Luigi is not looking like he's having a good time right now. This is such yeah. good work Plus on... One of the disadvantages to this stage is that uh, it's a taller ceiling. He might have to work just a little bit harder to get those upbeat kill off the top. So they're not going to be killing at like 50. He might have to wait another 10%, which considering how few opportunities he gets, that could be a big difference maker. But this is actually really scary if you are if you are MPG, because if you get grabbed right here, you might just die. Oh, it doesn't matter if the ceiling's a little bit a little bit bigger. That tornado is still going to whiz you off to the top of the screen. Absolutely, and this is definitely Ooh. still really wow. scary. Almost getting reverse edge guarded right there, but not happening just entirely, and still putting on so much damage. Very nice waiting for that tornado and not doing enough right here, but still putting so much pressure onto Scott. But Scott also being a lot trickier off the stage, the way he's using tornadoes, being ambiguous about what resources he's actually expended. Oh, but it doesn't matter because MPG's just playing too carefully. He's not getting baited in that way. I love that pressuring, just empty land into the pellets, knowing he was going to drop shield right there. Oh, man, you see the plan. You see the formulation coming together for Scott. And the longer stage length here is also making it a little bit more difficult for uh, Scott to actually close the gap and make some big meaningful play. And right now we're seeing that almost, that fair almost took off the game. <gasps> Misfire! Oh, that was so clutch. Whoa! You okay there, buddy? I don't think so, because <laughs> he died. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that was actually so good on the end of MPG and MPG is oh getting comboed and that's not going to kill. The town and city being just a little bit too tall actually paying off for MPG right there. 
Oh, this is really bad. Can he actually find it? Can he close it out right here? Because if not, all of a sudden we're back with MPG being able to just run around him. Circle camp and just, oh, look at this. It's so hard for him to do anything. I really love the way, again, that we're seeing MPG playing neutral because he's just making it so hard for Scott to do anything, whatever he is <gasps> trying to play the game. Scott well, definitely has to find a way to be able to play neutral if he wants to have any semblance of having a good time in this game, making it as a Game 5 situation. But it's, it's Oh my god, at any instant, he's so close to being able to get that grab, but still, MPG's awareness is just that much. He's at the grab range, but there's always a pellet. There's always some kind of projectile preventing him from finding that one thing that he wants so, so desperately right now. Up smash. Option we haven't really seen yet, and it's really good that he recognized that's what could work in that situation. Okay, but 89%, you are not out of the woods if you are MPG. Oh, in no way is that the case. And every time you take a hit, you have to, your heart must be in your chest because you never are quite sure what might link into a million other hits and mean your death. Oh, but good job shielding all these landing neutral airs. Those are the big combo starters. Those are the danger points. 137, a misfire! That's actually huge, coming in clutch. We've seen that those uh, Luigi missiles are kind of the weakness in recovering. I love that laser. Uh, sorry, the fireball, rather, to clank with the back air. And Ooh, 154. my god. <gasps> what a brilliant down B, putting him back in the stage. What will we be able to do with the dash attack? It's not really going to lead to anything, but you are so close to... And there it is! Absolutely taking out that last second. That was super scary, but MPG was able to close that game out, making it just a 3-1 <laughs> victory. And very nice thumbs up. We love yeah. this for you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I win! <laughs> that, that what Mega Man says? Oh, I'm gonna be honest. I was thinking in the like voice of like Luigi. I was like, That's like oh a Waluigi. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I'm sorry. Um, I was like... What yeah. character do we do? Yeah. yeah. I honestly, if we could revisit, there were some of the stocks, especially was that game two, I think, that uh, Scott won. S some of those combos were just so good. And here's oh. the thing, too. This is definitely something I really want to point out right now, especially since we've been seeing how uh, MPG actually likes to go for a lot of his openings, just putting so much shield pressure, especially with down air. We've been seeing that so many times, and it's actually helped so much on the end of MPG. But, like we said, that game, that back air is going to take out that game. And the really nice look at the handshake. That was, that was, that was an okay handshake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an okay handshake, especially considering that MPG was already prepping for the thumbs up. He already had the thumbs up, like, cued. But he's like, I got to get the handshake first before I 